video today. I have time and I'm going to trying to record multiple videos today. So this video is what is in my everyday makeup bag. I do this makeup look quite often. I already did a video. I already did a video on how I do my makeup and that's about my everyday makeup. I, I, I do this every day. I don't do natural makeup. If I'm gonna go through all of that effort and time to do my makeup, I want it dramatic. Mm -hmm. So, first thing that is in my everyday makeup bag, I more keep them in a box more than I do a bag. I do have a bag. I just, I just don't use it. I use too much makeup in my everyday where I, I don't use a bag. So, first thing in my everyday makeup bag is the NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer. I have found this to be decently good. It doesn't, it doesn't really help with my dry skin, which is very unfortunate. Um, it does keep my makeup lasting throughout the day decently well. I'm currently wearing it, it's... Next thing is... Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I really like this foundation. The other one I had, the other one I used was the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. That was okay. It dried out my skin quite a bit. Um, it would really show my dry skin. And to a certain extent, this does as well, but it's not as bad as the Maybelline Fit Me would. But I really, really like this. This is my go-to. I don't use my Maybelline Fit Me anymore. This is definitely my go-to now. Now we have NYX HD uh, concealer. You're gonna see a lot of NYX in my bag. <laughs> I love NYX. They're like one of uh, it's one of my favorite makeup brands. Like I, I love. But this is in the shade Alabaster, and the um the foundation was in the shade um, porcelain. This wears pretty well. It's I dropped it. It wears pretty well. It doesn't it doesn't hide my dark circles that good. I still have not found the best concealer for that yet. But I really do like this. This is in the lightest shade. Alabaster is in the lightest shade from what I could find. It go like it goes on quite like a yellowy orange, which is a little strange, but it it blends it, it blends pretty well, which I would have to say is one of the best things about this concealer is it blends really well. It blends really well with the Milani foundation as well, so I recommend this. Unless you have, I guess, yellow undertones, then maybe it wouldn't work. Maybe it wouldn't work as well. I'm sorry, by the way, if you can hear my son in the background. He's just laying on the bed talking. <laughs> I, there's not much I can do about that. He's not really tired, so he won't go to sleep. So. Now we have NYX, once more, HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. I really love this powder. It is really good for making sure my concealer doesn't crease. This is very good in my opinion. I highly recommend it for for whenever I prime my eyes. I use Essence I Heart Color Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This is really well, like this works really well with uh, 
intensifying your eyeshadow. I love this. I'm so happy I got this. Like, this was like, a, like $3 maybe at CVS. I'm so happy that I got this because it keeps my eyeshadow from creasing and no, I have hooded eyes, as you can tell. It is very hard to find an eyeshadow base that'll keep it from creasing. Like I'm s I, 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 I if your eyes crease, uh, your eyes don't crease. <laughs> if your eyeshadow base creases, or you just want more intense color, I highly recommend. And now we have, guess what brand? <laughs> now we have more NYX. NYX Matte Finishing uh, Setting Spray. This is pretty good and I just realized I didn't use this today. Okay. <laughs> I think this sets your face pretty well. I really like it. It's just gives a nice matte finish. I, I don't care. I've never cared for the dewy look. I always like to have a matte face. So, I like this. I highly recommend. Okay. For contour, I use the LA Colors Shape It Up Sculpt and Contour. I think it's pretty well. Wait. I didn't put very much on today, so you can't really see it, but I like this. I use this shade. There we go. I use this shade right here. I think it's pretty nice. It's just a nice dark brown color. It's, it's very nice. Yeah. I think this is very nice. I, I recommend it if you just... It goes on quite light, so it's very buildable. And if you're if you're the type of person that likes building your contour or you like just a little bit of contour, I I recommend this. It would work it work pretty well for you. Mm -hmm. Now for eyeshadow, I use this eyeshadow palette. To be honest, I don't know the name of it. It just says beauty eyeshadow on it. <laughs> hey. I got it off of AliExpress, so it was like a dollar and fifty-seven cents. This the color payoff is really good. I, I honestly can't believe this. This palette is better than my other palette that I have, the Shani Cosmetics palette. Which cost more? <laughs> this one's a lot better. If you use AliExpress and you don't mind waiting a few weeks to like a month and a half, I would recommend getting this because this is very good. I understand why a lot of people don't get makeup off of AliExpress and Wish and places like that because you don't know what's in the makeup. I completely understand that. I'm not saying to buy makeup off of these websites because yeah, you you should be very careful with that. I personally don't give two shits about myself, so I use makeup off the site. I got lipsticks off the site, which I, I, I barely wear them. They're shades of red and I don't really wear red that much. Especially now that I got pink going on, I rarely wear it. But if don't mind not knowing what's in your makeup. I recommend makeup off of AliExpress. I got these eyelashes off of AliExpress. I highly recommend eyelashes off of AliExpress. Or Wish, because you can get a lot of lashes for cheap. Go for it. Now for my eyebrows. I ran out of um, my... I ran out of my eyebrow pencil, but the eyebrow pencil that I use is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in medium brown. Like, I used the shit. 
actually added to this. I highly recommend this for an eyebrow. For a brow pomade, I use Salon Perfect Done in One in the shade Dark Brown. And this is the brush that comes with it. Super cheap at Walmart, highly recommend. It's what I'm wearing on my brows right now. I like it. I think it's really good brow pomade. I recommend. For mascara, I use Maybelline Great Lash. I also use, I'm pretty sure it's by Maybelline as well. I also use, I also use the Great Lash by Map. I also use the Total Tease Mascara. I'm pretty sure it's by Maybelline. I also use that, but for some reason I can't find that right now. No idea what happened to that, but pretty good mascara. This mascara's been around for a long time. It's what my grandmother used to use for her makeup. It, it's, it's been around for a long time. I also hope the new setup is a lot better than it was in my last video. Or, my first video. <laughs> At least my lighting in this video is a lot better than it was in my first video. And I think I may do this more often. I may stand, unless I'm doing makeup, then I will obviously sit down for that. Um, I think this is a little bit better. I need to work on a background. If, I'll work on that. For my lips, what I'm wearing right now. I use the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vania? I don't know if that's I have a hard time pronouncing stuff. I have a hard time pronouncing stuff, so I think it's Vania. Don't quote me on that. For pencil eyeliner, I use LA Colors Eyeliner Pencil in shade black. What I love about this pencil eyeliner, there is, sorry it's disgusting looking, there is a pencil sharpener on the end of it. Makes life so much easier. I recommend getting this. For liquid eyeliner, I use Surprise, it's NYX again! I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I love this eyeliner so much. I don't think I showed in my makeup video that it's a... It's a pen, if anybody was wondering. Trying to film and take care of a three-month-old is not the easiest thing in the damn world. This is probably, like, the best eyeliner I have ever used. It... It lasts. It... It's pretty black, like, it's very easy to do a wing. I highly recommend. And these are my brushes. They are BS Small uh, brushes from Amazon. If I can find them, I will link them in the description. These brushes are the best purchase I have ever made. Cause you get so much brushes, I think for like 10 to 12 dollars. I will, <laughs> I will find these and I will put these in the description. I recommend these so much. That is it for this video of everything that is in my makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, dislike the video, that's completely okay too. If you like my content and want to see where my channel is going for the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video.